He's going to get his taxes out there. He wants Mr. Trump to do the same thing. And he says that um, he thinks that it's important to reach out to Fox News viewers because um, there's a lot of them. Ash and, and then Carl. Well, I mean, that, that is a good thing. I mean, a lot of other candidates, you know, the DNC doesn't even want to have a debate on Fox nope. News. And uh, so Bernie trying to reach out, will he be able to actually uh, pick off any? Uh, I'm not sure. And I don't, honestly don't think so. Because in 2016, had the DNC not kept Bernie from being the nominee, he might have been able to beat Trump. But now, people who may have been Bernie supporters, such as working class Americans, even union people, they've now had, you know, three years of Trump. They will have had four years of Trump. They've got the tax cuts. They've got manufacturing jobs coming back. Meanwhile, yep. Bernie's out there with the Green New Deal, which would destroy all of that and saying he wants to raise everybody's taxes. So I don't think he's going to be able right. to get them back. Carl, last thought. Uh, smart of him to come on to Fox. His comment was sort of mystifying, though. He uh, praised Brett Baer for his journalistic prowess and then said he was able to differentiate between right. Fox News and Fox News yeah. viewers. And I, I didn't know which one he was thinking was good and which one he was thinking bad. <laughs> and then he went on to say, basically, Fox News viewers were sold a bill of goods by Trump and his message is, you've been screwed. So a little bit weird response to it. But he's smart to come on. There are a lot of people who watch Fox who like politics yeah. and are open-minded to both sides and smart of him to do so. I think it's going to be great. It's going to be an interesting night. Carl Rove, thank you very much. Good to have you here. Ash Gow, thank you as well.